I'm a Queensland boy, so I grew up playing um, rugby league, so I can um, definitely share a part of my story in, um, in what rugby league means to me. Um, I was also playing um, Jersey Flag at the Sydney Roosters um, when I when I come out, so um, rugby league is actually a big part of my um, coming out story. So having experienced, um, you know, some of the issues and problems that are that are, are facing um, athletes in sport um, is definitely something that I can bring to the program and share um, with the organisations that I work with. Uh, the Pride and Sport program is a is a program that's um, aimed at um, assisting sporting organisations. Um, be prepared and um, you know doing some work towards um, including LGBTI people um, within their sport um, making it a safe space um, and a space that um, you know LGBTI people want to come to um, whether they want to play rugby league um, support it um, you know volunteer or, or work within the organization the murder ball as it's called or wheelchair rugby um, is a it's a Paralympic sport which is only really for people with uh, a disability in um, or four limbs uh, with the classification system. Our, our sports are pretty much uh, anyone with disability, able-bodied, an illness or uh, injury can come play, uh, male or female. Uh, and yeah, that's probably the main difference. A lot of people get confused with the wheelchair rugby uh, and that, we're trying to basically just break that down and explain who we are and what we do. So today I talked about diversity and the inclusion of multiculturalism at the local level of the game. It's so important that we continue to use multiculturalism as part of what we do in the game rather than see it as a barrier and my conversation with participants at today's conference was all about how we can do that practically. So over the years I've worked with multiple clubs across the various levels and a lot of the conversations is around how can we practically celebrate ethnic diversity, religious diversity, but even sexual diversity. So it's about being able to promote scope for people to understand the practicalities of putting on different events or putting in different strategies that will help to have those voices heard, but also included in the way in which various practices are done in and around the club.